Ms. Autumn from River University has a testimony about household salvation. So tell us what the Lord did. Amen. Yes. Good morning, River Church. Praise God. I just want to thank Pastors Rodney and Pastor Donica for my scholarship to be here because this testimony has to do with what we learned in class in the soul winning uh, sessions and in the labs. So for me moving down here, I moved down from New Jersey back in July and I had family members who still weren't saved and I had this religious mindset that if I just kept on praying for them that God would send somebody else to go win their soul to Christ. However, in our soul winning class, we had Pastor Jennifer, she taught us, and she was so awesome, so I thank God for her. She taught us that when you preach the gospel, the power of God is going to show up. So one day, I was serving in the vitamin department in the warehouse, and while I was serving, it was just me and this one other woman, and we were talking about our families, and I said I was believing for my brother's salvation, and then we went about what we were doing, and she was like, yes, it's going to happen. The following like hour after I got done serving, I was in the youth uh, service and after praise and worship was over and the message was preached on stewardship, I went to go check my phone and that same day my brother called me. Not just a regular call, my brother FaceTime called me and I was like, wow, this is crazy because number one, he doesn't reach out to me. Um, if he was gonna reach out, he would reach out to one of my siblings and they would reach out to me to communicate whatever he wanted to communicate. So I, immediately I just texted him back and I was like, hey, I'm sorry, I missed your phone call. Let's schedule another time that we can talk. And so two weeks go by, we finally get on the phone together and we're talking to each other on FaceTime and his entire countenance was different. Beforehand, when we would talk on the phone, my brother would begin to manifest, and I wouldn't even get to say Jesus or preach the word or anything like that, but the spirit that was in him would just begin to manifest so much so that my family members would look at me and they would be like, well, what did you say to him? And I would say, I didn't say anything. It's just the spirit of God that's on the inside of me. And so I just purposed in my heart to continue to love him, continue to sow seeds of, of forgiveness and grace and keep moving and not to be offended. So when we were on the phone, um, he told me that he called me because when he woke up in the morning, he said, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to ask you for forgiveness. I needed to repent to you. And so all those years when I was, when I was sowing uh, seeds of love and forgiveness, God was working on his heart, breaking down those barriers. And so he came to me and he asked me to forgive him for all the times he was mean to me, all the times he would go off, all those stuff. He, he knew that it was wrong. And so I'm just so grateful because the power of God is real. And so I said, if I'm not going to do it today, I'm never going to do it. So I picked up the gospel soul winning script and I asked him, has anybody ever told you that God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life? And so my brother, he said, no, nobody's ever told him that before. And so I was honored and privileged to be the first person to tell him that because in the past I sent him scriptures and stuff, but now I have a tool to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so when I asked him if he knew for sure that he would go to heaven, he had his own philosophy about what would happen after death, but he said he was interested to hear what I had to say. And so I was able to preach the word of God to him, continuing with the script. And as he was talking to me, it's like I could hear his heart's cry. I could hear him saying like in his heart, like I want what's real and we have what's real. Everybody has what's real. You have the gospel of Jesus Christ and people need to hear it. Hallelujah. So then he let me pray for him. And then I said, uh, if you want to receive the gift that God has for you today, just say this with me with your heart and your lips out loud. And he prayed the prayer and received Jesus into his heart. Hallelujah. And so after, that, after what happened when uh, I was serving in vitamins and when he called me, the scripture came alive to me in Psalm chapter 34 and 17. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So anything that you say, I just want to encourage you. Your words are powerful. Your prayers are powerful. If God's listening to anybody, he's listening to you. And whatever comes out of your mouth is going to be so. It happened that quick for me. So today's going to be your day. If you believe that God's going to save your family, just speak it out of your mouth and God's going to do the work. You're just a vessel. It's not about you. It's about God. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you, you're on fire, aren't you? Amazing. Come on. This is what's going to shake America. This, not politics, not some person in some government office. This is what will shake America.